Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. As always, I am Dor and today what we're going to be doing is unlearning Berserk so that we can try and boss fight a little easier because to me at least it seems like Rampage alone is the better option right now because we're at level 5 so we should be doing 150% more damage for 28 seconds versus the Berserk thing that we're in right now that's only going to give us plus 60 percent more damage for 28 seconds but that keeps stacking as long as we're hitting so i want to try and take this thing off and then run a boss fight with just rampage and execute to see if it's any easier to kill bosses i've also got seven more of the the uh, eternal guys put together in between episodes and in doing so i took all of the guys out of these right and i had i don't know how many flask people and i didn't buy them I should have bought them. I thought I had enough flasks to to unlearn the thingy. I didn't realize we couldn't craft it, but all the red ones that I had in here, I've already combined with the Alexandrite, and this is the only one I have left. Uh, it just kept rolling everything but the thing that I actually had to get. So what I'm going to do right now is actually just run a whole bunch of afterlife crystals. I have two of them afterlife right now. All of these ones have been put through catalysts already and none of them have anything good. So I'm just going to afterlife all of these as well. And the main thing I'm going to be doing while I'm running these is just grabbing the altars. So any of the health ones, the XP ones, the kill ones, the time ones, anything that I can do. I don't care how long it's going to take me to do them. I'm going to do them and hopefully we get enough of those red flasks that will roll the the rampage thing for us to take that off and then i'm gonna run some normal vaults i do have the ancient vault already set and afterlife so we can run that and then i also have a joe vault which is odyssey exploration and journey which is all artifact chances to spawn and it should give us a 90 percent chance of spawning one i don't know if we really need it since the two journey vaults that we ran spawned in one but we're gonna give ourselves a 90 percent chance when we run this and hopefully we can kill the boss but i'm going to hold off on running this until we get that removed from from our skill tree so that's going to be there for us hopefully later on in today's episode but real quickly i'm going to start running a whole bunch of afterlifes looking for all the altars i don't know how many of these we're actually going to run but right now we currently have 15 counting these two if i need more crystals and we don't get enough of those red things then i will just start making more crystals right now we need 1500 sweet berries i do have a farm for that it's just not connected and running at the moment so it's a real quick fix and we can hopefully get those berries done and over with real quickly but yeah let me get to running these and i'll see you in just a second well we actually only had to do one run so we got one red flask from the altars that we did i didn't get rampage from it i took the one that we had in the box over here and combined it with the one from the run and we actually managed to grab rampage so let's drink that do away with the specialization and now we should just have bare bones rampage which we do indeed okay so we should be doing 150 percent more damage now before we actually run one more vault to test out whether or not we can kill a boss easier i want to very quickly craft one thing here so this is the vault run loot here we don't want to be in that one we want to go back to the main drive and we want to grab some tubium here because we actually need some tubium for another pog and with that pog we're going to be able to craft up this thing here but before that we need to craft up two of these which i didn't oh i did open up the crafting menu why won't it there we go so we need two of those things. These are the botanical brewery things from Botania. It allows you to make the Botania potions, which we are not going to be doing, but we needed those to make this. This thing then goes into the next thing here, which is this here. So we need four more living rock, which I think thought i had on me i guess i didn't anyways with our living rock we can now craft this this is the conjuration catalyst and with that we are going to be able to double our redstone that is the main reason why i'm crafting this i don't need that anymore and let's jump on over to the mana thing all we got to do is plop that underneath the mana pool here let's put this thing back and i didn't bring my i didn't bring my my computer with me dang it let me go grab my computer real quick so i can grab some redstone and we're down to only four blocks of redstone now i don't think we can throw this in there and have it double yeah it has to be it has to just be redstone dust we can't just do blocks of redstone that would be super nice but we have currently 36 and it's going to double that so all we do is drop it in there i don't know how pricey this is on mana uh, nothing's really moving so i think it's fine yeah let's then throw that in there and then throw that in there 
And I'm just going to sit here for a few minutes and dupe up some redstone or double up our redstone because at least we're using mana to make it. It's not like we're cheating it in. I just realized with our magnet, we can just stand on top of the mana pool once our inventory is filled up and it'll just keep pulling the redstone in and doubling it over and over and over again here. So that's pretty good. I do need to back away for a second because we have quite a bit of it on the ground. And let's see how much we actually have once this is done getting pulled to us because it's still doubling. Come over here, please, magnet. Pull it. It's not pulling it out of there. Oh, no, I might be in trouble. Uh-oh. We definitely just chewed through a lot more mana than I was expecting. I didn't realize how much it was using. Does it tell me how much that actually uses? Because that was that was a lot of redstone we just got. It only uses like a little smidge of the bar. Okay, so we had 33 or 36 redstone to start with, and we are currently up to 32,000 redstone. That used up so much mana. Oh, man. Okay, anyways, that's good because I need a lot of double compressed redstone to finish off our our main farm for all of the crops and stuff that we're generating. So I need to, I need to turn all this stuff back on because that's that's not good that we don't have a whole lot of mana left over. I'm going to let it run for a little bit as we're running vaults as well. It should keep running while we're in there. And this should also be enough mana for us to actually run vaults and use our Terra Shatter. It shouldn't be an issue with that. So after all that redstone, we're still a little bit shy on cabling. We need to plug in the bamboo field and the field behind it, and then we're done. We need about 32 more cables or so to plug in everything and have it up and running. I need to come back later and plug in all of the items sorting and all that jazz to have everything up and running fully. But I just wanted to get all the power cables in and see how short we were. And we're a little bit short, so I'll have to still get some more redstone to finish that off in between episodes. Episodes here I went ahead and put in a stone path just to break up all of the farm plots and I think it looks kind of good it's not the best looking thing but it's not terrible I also crafted one of the plant fertilizers this thing is taking the fertilizer and basically bone mealing all of the crops and getting them instantly ready to harvest when that thing rolls on through so this thing is very nice I have it disabled right now because I don't need any more of the sweet berries but what I've been doing is taking this and plopping it onto the field that we need when it pops up on an altar so like we had it over here on these guys and then we got a bunch of string from that and then we had these guys pop up on the altar so I scooted it down a little bit all of that's being fed by our farm right now so I have a bunch of sewage pipes and I have the sewers if the cows would move I'm gonna have all these eggs come flying at me in a second but I have sewers on the bottom here those have range upgrades as well as all the efficiency and speed upgrade thingies those produce a ton of sewage we currently have nine million millibuckets of sewage backlogged in our system and if we punch a hole down real quick, I have a couple of these sewage composters down here producing the fertilizer and I may want to double or triple the amount that I have because even with the efficiency and speed and processing things in here, I never made a dent in the, the 9 million buckets that are in there. So I may be able to support like multiples of those, if not one of those things on each of the farms. I don't know, honestly, if I could do that, but I would like to do that so that I have just a whole ton of crops being produced instantly. So this is just a bare bones crystal with afterlife on it. We got lucky, hunger, journey, difficult, and resilient. Journey doesn't matter because of the afterlife, but difficult is going to kind of tell me whether or not we're going to be still out damaged or not. So I'm going to summon my eternal, and then we are going to go back onto this. We're going to press it. We're going to summon the boss, and we're going to see if we can kill it. Oh, we're doing a lot more damage. That is a very good sign. That is a very, very good sign. We activate this, and then we instant kill him. Okay. So 1,000% a lot easier than having the other rampage thing that we had enabled. So that is a very, very nice sign for us. We are going to run the journey vault next, or the Joey vault next. If my guy cannot die, he died. He died at the end of the run. What a dum-dum. Actually, you know what? Before we run that Joey vault, let's run the ancient vault, because then we will hopefully find all of the ancients and have them in our little summoning pool to, uh, to summon in on fights and stuff. And I don't think it really matters, but we rolled plentiful, easy, and that's it. Okay, so we're not going to loot, really, as we are doing this. We're going to be looking for rooms that have have obelisk in them and instead of having an obelisk it's going to have the um the the eternal guy or the ancient guy that we can pick up okay i finally found one i've been through so many rooms man we got dowski so that's nice awesome here's our second one so that's two out of the four i'm gonna keep on running here we are pretty much out of time in this vault oh there's another one sweet this is on the final row by the way we're in a square vault and that's all the way on the back side of the corner so we found three of them we have a minute 40 on the clock 
Oh, come on. Let me get the last one here. That would be amazing. I don't want to have to use the other seal that I have. I don't think it's going to happen. If it's not in this room, I have to turn around and start running toward the portal. Yeah, it's not in this room. Okay. So we have 50 seconds on the clock. I think that's more than enough time to get back to the portal. It's actually 400 meters out. Maybe it's not. Oh, you know what? We're on the back side of the portal. That stinks. We're dead to time. I thought we were on the front side of it. No. Oh, if I could have hit my dash there, we probably would have got out. Oh, that's my bad. I greeted that. I just wanted to grab the last the last dude if I could, but we got really unlucky with that square vault. Unless they're all square vaults, in which case, never mind. But I have another one of those. Let me put it together real quick, and we can run. Oh, man, I thought I didn't have afterlife on that. None of my gear loaded in. I got a little scared there. Okay. Yeah, we should be good. I have another one of those. Not in the uh, looting drive. It's in the main drive here. I should have that. Yeah, we have one. So let me uh, let me throw an afterlife on that as well, and we can we can run that here and see if we can find all four of them. If not, I'm just gonna make sure that I actually leave with time on the clock and not die to it again. That was a little stupid of me. All right. Hopefully we are not in a square vault. That would be ideal. And did we get lucky with one in this first room? That would be kind of cool. I don't think we did. Okay, so out of here we go. All right, we found our first one a lot quicker than we did in the last run there. So that's good, I guess. Hopefully, that's a good sign. And our second one is two rooms away from the first one, so that's great. Found our third one with six minutes left on the clock. I don't think we're going to find that fourth one, but I will leave with enough time this time. I'm not going to lose all three again. Okay, so we still only got three, but at least we got out alive this time. Oh, we also got a boss box, even though we didn't complete it all the way. Huh. Okay, weird. Anyways, let's plop that down. Let's see. Are these guys going to be fully leveled up or do I need to crystalline burger them as well? They're already at level 13. So that's pretty cool. Did that increase the level on these guys? That did not. Okay. So I've gone through and set their stats and stuff. So Goody is going to be doing 22.6 worth of damage. He also is going to be giving us a weakness to cloud or radius thing. So that's nice. Scalda is going to be our powerhouse right now. He does 25.9 worth of damage. He's also going to be giving us a strength to cloud. Cloud, so that's lovely and Mookie Tanuki is also going to be a powerhouse here as well with 24 damage as well as a plus four resistance aura so that's lovely I've gone through and took the armor off some of our other ones because this one was our powerhouse before with like 19 or 20 damage and now these guys are all better than them purely because they came in at level 13 instead of instead of being at level 8 and I'm not sure but I think it's still advisable to let all of your eternals die normally and just use ancients because those guys are going to be better than these ones usually and that may be different as we get more of these guys and they have more levels potentially than 13 unless 13 is the max level I don't really know but right now I'm not going to realive any of our dead ones I'm just going to let them all die over time here and then hopefully we're only pulling from these three from here on out we are going to run that joey vault and see if we can get our hands on another artifact here today that would be lovely all right so we have a 90 percent chance of spawning one hopefully we do we don't have anything too bad on the modifiers we have crowded and trapped but we're not going to be hitting any chests so i don't really mind i'm gonna run through and grab these as fast as i can it looks like we only have five of them so it should be fairly fast to do Okay, well, here we go. And I didn't activate my rampage. Oops, that was a mistake, but that's fine. That's fine. We didn't start doing damage to him anyways. Our health is looking great. Our damage output is looking great. I want him to fall down there with our dude because now he's down there by himself. Oh, he teleported back up. That's good. Okay. I just fell down. No, come down here, please. Fall down, please. Oh, we almost killed him with that. Okay, well, uh, there we go. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. We still are only summoning our actual Eternals. That's not our ancient dude. That is Waffle Dog, I believe. Can we have some free soul shards from you, please? That's nice. Thank you. Maybe a Vault Diamond from you? That would be cool. Vault Diamond. Give me a Vault Diamond. Oh, that ran out of time. Dang it. Okay, so let's see if we got another artifact or not. We had a 90% chance. So, yes, we did. Nice. I don't know if there's a chance that you can spawn multiples of these in a box. I don't think there is. I think it's one per, but, man, that would have been nice to have a 90% chance and spawn multiples instead of just one. That would have been lovely. We got a little bit of armor from that as well. We got a couple mod boxes. Let's see if we rolled a duplicate or not. So let me plop that there so we can keep an eye on it. And fingers crossed. We get another one here. And... Ooh. Ooh. That is a new one. Yeah, that's a new one. That's definitely a new one. Sweet. Okay. So that's all the stuff that we've gotten so far. Again, there's absolutely no way we're going to complete this thing, but... 
at least we got another artifact done. That's pretty cool. And let's see what we got from the other boxes here. I believe this is the one we got from the ancient run, and this is the other boss box. So we got some more weapons and a key fragment and a guaranteed relic. So let me take that. And let me take the weapons as well. We got another Echo Gem, which is nice. Let's check out the other box here. We got... Oh! We got shulkers full of stuff. That's pretty cool. Okay, we got another guaranteed relic. Let me take the armor and let's see what we got in those boxes. We can see from just holding over the shift thing, but... We got some more armor. Nice. What is this thing? It re-rolls the Eternal's auras. Ooh... That actually probably would have came in handy because, what is this guy? Weakness, strength, and resistance. I'm going to try it on Mookie here and see if we can re-roll that. We can indeed. Look at that. Okay, so we got parry. We got wither effect one or haste. Probably should have left it alone, honestly. Um, Let's go with... Let's go with, I guess, parry, so we can try and not take damage every now and again. That's, I feel like that's worse than resistance. I may have just messed that up. Anyways, let's move on over to the secondary shulker here. We got another one of those things. We also got a real life scroll, so that's nice. More armor, as always, is also good. And this one did not pay out too, too well. We did get some more armor. We didn't get any of the scrolls, though. So I'm actually going to take this one and re-roll re -roll Mookie again and see if we get something that's actually useful. I don't really like the parry, honestly. And we got parry 10% now. We also got parry two percent and we got weakness two so i think we also have weakness on this guy let's um i guess let's just do the 10 percent parry why not it can't hurt anything really anyways let's hope for the last two relics that we need that would be really cool that's not what we need oh actually maybe maybe that's what we needed and we need the other twitch thing which is that is not okay so that's a duplicate and that's a duplicate dang it that would have been cool and out of the little bit of armor that we rolled the only two pieces that turned into omegas are these two and they're also kind of the same level if not a little bit better than our current gear that we're wearing so i am going to woo tax those really quickly and see what we roll on them as well as we have a lot of pandora's boxes to open so we have some there i think we have like one or two on our system and i totally forgot about it but we have these guys over here from all of the ones that i put into the the uh, eternals so we're gonna open all of those as well here in just a second but let's see what we roll on our armor pieces here so we have knockback resistance and durability on the chest piece let's put three of those on there we rolled fire resistance which is not ideal we got another thing of knockback resistance and armor toughness on there as well so i believe with the armor toughness there it makes it just slightly better than the gear that we're wearing now with armor toughness the rating on armor is the same just a little bit more toughness the boots only have armor on them so let's see what we roll on that as well we got durability and two levels of cooldown reduction Okay, not bad. But yeah, let me grab everything that I have and we can open everything and see if we get anything good. We also had 15 relic boosters from today. I don't think it's going to give us anything, but you never know. It gave us a Twitch emote. That's the one we have, right? Yeah. Let's also see if any of these mod boxes give us anything that we could actually use. We got another flux point. That's cool. Is that a sink? I could use a sink. We got a bunch of the obsidian chests, and no, it's another cooking table, dang it. Anyways, we have 543 Pandora's boxes to open, so let's see if we get a whole bunch of kelp or not, I guess. And that's a whole lot of stuff. We got a whole bunch of armor. Okay, let me put my magnet back on so it pulls this stuff over here. It looks like we got a vault crystal as well. Oh yeah, it's just a plain old vault crystal. That's cool. I didn't know we can get one of those, but that's neat. Let me plop all this stuff in there. We got a bunch of the red ones now that I don't need it anymore. So we got three plain vault crystals. I'm going to plop them over here so I can put them through the catalyst table and see if we get anything nice with those. And then let's open up the rest of these mod boxes as well. Maybe we get something else. That would be cool. And I forgot to take my magnet off, so I sucked everything up. So let's see what we got. We got trampolines and backpacks, an advanced shulker. Does that have anything in it? Nope. Okay. We got a dank. We got another basic storage for our flux so we can plug that into our network and store an additional million rf got another cow in a jar we got some energy cables that's nice we actually need that stuff we got a basic energy cube which i don't want to have in my inventory because it's charging from our network right now and out of all that new armor we rolled we rolled this pair of boots that's better than the current pair of boots as well as the boots that we just leveled up so that's kind of annoying 
Uh, I'm going to wood tax those here in a second, see if they get any good modifiers. I also got a whole bunch of pants that are currently better than our pair of pants, but they're all tier ones, which is kind of why I don't want to downgrade back to them. They also only have two levels per, and these ones have three levels, but they're also tier ones. So I think I'm just going to stick with these tier two pants and just wait until there's a tier two to replace them with that are better but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna roll these boots real quick see what we get on them maybe they're better than these ones and hopefully better than those ones okay all they had on there was armor toughness so we just got thorns damage cooldown reduction parry and resistance on them no armor no no extra toughnesses on them but those are going to be better than these ones so those are our our new boots now basically well that is going to be it for today's episode in between episodes i will finish off the rest of the cabling that needs to happen over in the farming area so that everything can be running and generating resources for us but i hope you enjoyed as always and i will catch you on the next one thanks for watching